Hey, a little vertical hope today from Faith Builders Ministries. What a wonderful word in Luke 11, starting in 24. It says, when an evil spirit comes out of a man, it goes through arid places seeking rest and does not find it. Then it says, I will return to the house I left. When it's... When it arrives, it finds the house swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and takes seven other spirits more wicked than itself and then go and then they go to live there. And the final condition of the man is worse than it was first began. Okay, this is the thing. That was uh, Luke 11, 24. This is the thing. I believe in our lives, we have to spiritually take out some trash sometimes. Amen? We have to get rid of some things. All right? There are some things in our lives, what we're doing, that we're, maybe what we're watching, what we're saying, what we're reading. I mean, I know for you ladies, those romantic novels are, are, are all nice and cool and you can't wait to read them. And I also tell the women in prison this. Those romantic novels are setting you up for failure. Number one, a lot of them are are pornographic. Okay, so let's just face that truth. It's it's not necessarily all romance, but more uh, soft porn in a reading material. And I wanted to tell you this, that it's setting you up for failure in your future relationships because if you're married in your present relationship as well, if you're married, you can, you start comparing your husband to the character in that book or on that show. And um, there's a lot of TV shows out there that are... Um, geared towards the perfect man and him looking for the perfect woman and him doing all this romantic things uh, for the women. But it sets your husband up to look like a failure in your eyes because then you start thinking, well, why doesn't my husband do that? Well, why doesn't, you know, you read in the novel and you go, well, why isn't he throwing rose petals all over the bed? I'm telling you what, we got to get some junk out of our lives. We got to get some junk out of our, our minds. We need to take out some of the, the trash that we have in our, and the evilness that comes in through television or through your books that you're reading or whatever you're thinking upon. We need to get rid of it. But not only that, because in this scripture, this is what I got from it. They took the trash out, but they didn't replace it with anything. So the evil came back seven times as wor more worse than it did when it left. So you've got to replace what you take out with good. You've got to replace it with the Word of God. Replace it with Christian movies. Replace it. I'm not trying to be all spiritual and legalistic. I'm just making this is just common sense to me. What you put in will come out. And so what you plant, you reap. It's just, it's just spiritual common sense, but a lot of people have problem with this. Men think they can watch pornography and it won't affect them, but it will affect them because then they start looking at their wives thinking, well, why don't you do something like that? Or why don't you look like that? Or why don't you go to the gym? I mean, I'm all for healthy, but I'm not in comparison. I don't think there's any win in comparison. I heard that teaching a couple of years ago and, um, there is no win in comparison, and I think that's the biggest damage that we do when we let our mind seek into a program and start comparing our husbands with whoever the man is, or when we read a novel, or um, uh, we call them romance novels. I've never actually read one, but um, I'm guilty of a lot of other stuff, so don't worry. <laughs> um, but... This is what I know from women that have read them and shared some of them about. I've told them this, be careful <laughs> what you let your mind entertain because pretty soon you'll get into that character so much that your husband will start looking second best to the character in the book or on the TV. <laughs> Listen to the vertical. Hey, thank you for letting me speak some life and truth into you today. Um, you don't have to think it's true. Doesn't mean it's not though. <laughs> All right, listen, your vertical hope today is you have a choice what you let your eyes see and your mind eyes read. You have a choice out there. Men and women have a choice what we do because you know, the last thing you want to do is set yourself up for failure. Yay, man. <laughs> Yay, man. All right, you go out there and you be an answer to someone else's prayer today. And I promise you, God will bless you. That's not why we do it, but there's just a spiritual harvest in sowing and reaping. What you sow, like I said, you will reap. Yay, man! Woo! Man, y'all go out there and have a great day. I'm excited about the Lord today. Bye-bye.